Hello guys, uh, welcome to Azure 30. Uh, we just started a new series, this is episode 1 uh, in Jan 2022. So in this we're going to cover uh, the latest um, Azure new services and the services which are in preview every week. So in this uh, video we're going to cover three services, um, less than uh, you know uh, 15 minutes. So one is the maintenance configuration for VMs, the second one is enable auto manage Azure best practices. The third one is the SQL Server registry service. Let's quickly look into the um, <clears throat> what exactly these um, uh, services means for us. So the maintenance configuration for VMs, it applies to uh, Linux VMs, Windows VMs, and flexible scale sets, uniform scale sets. And uh, it's kind of a platform provided by the Microsoft Azure that uh, doesn't require a reboot for any VMs so that you can install the the updates on them to improve the the performance and security because as we know Microsoft launches a lot of hot patch a lot of updates and hot fixes especially for the enter, enterprise level uh, companies and the mid market companies um, where they are, you know cannot afford a, a couple of seconds downtime and latency I think this maintenance platform uh, uh, configuration platform helps them to decide when to apply the updates to the isolated VMs and uh, to these dedicated hosts. So with this maintenance uh, configuration platform, one is uh, you get uh, a batch updates uh, into uh, one uh, update package. You you will get a 35 days of uh, a timeline, uh, you know, to install the updates. And you can also automate these uh, updates by configuring from the maintenance schedule. And the uh, obviously you can uh, push the updates across multiple subscriptions and uh, more than multiple resource groups. I've just added a, a screenshot here just to show you how exactly it looks from the portal. So, but however, uh, let me quickly uh, take you to the portal and show you how exactly it looks like. So go to the Azure services, log on to the portal, go to the all services under the compute go to the uh, maintenance configurations so here uh, click on create now uh, just add your resource group and I'm just adding a test your region and here under the maintenance scope I see uh, two options one is host second one is the OS image upgrade so host is nothing but the host updates for the Azure dedicated hosts and isolated VMs and scale sets and the OS image upgrade is for the rolling upgrade for the image. So it depends upon your requirement. So select any one of them and here you need to add the schedule. So at the start time, uh, you can depends upon the uh, when you want to have the schedule and when you want to end the schedule, right? The main important thing is the tip here I'm giving is the maintenance window is very important for you to understand because you need to check with the server owner and the application owner to understand what is their downtime they are actually taking. Uh, from the customer or, or in their monthly uh, manual patching or cu current uh, schedules right so this is how you're going to do that and next uh, what you're going to do is you're going to click on machines and you add the machines currently I don't have any machines but you'll you, when you click on that it will install your Azure VMs and all that you can just click on select uh, and add the resources and uh, you know schedule the uh, maintenance configuration so this is how we're going to do it but the only thing I'm missing from the configuration uh, window here is to schedule an alert here I think Microsoft have given that feature because that really helps an admin to schedule an alert from here uh, to understand whether the uh, you know maintenance configuration schedule has been started and uh, you know triggered it is running or it stopped or it failed or it's successful right that really helps all right, uh, so the next one is enable auto manage for the Azure best practices. This applies for both uh, Linux VMs and Windows VMs. Azure auto manage um, is nothing but a, a platform where you can configure, uh, you know, how to onboard your Azure virtual machines with predefined set of services like uh, insight monitoring, backup, Microsoft Defender for Cloud, Microsoft Anti Malware, Update Management, Change Tracking, Inventory, Guest Configuration, Boot Diagnostics, Windows Admin Center, uh, and also integration with the Azure Automation Account and Log Analytics Workspace. This is really nice because this saves a lot of uh, uh, time for the uh, you know admins and the IT teams who you know 
who normally do install all these uh, set of tools as part of the onboarding process for any VM to the cloud. So here Microsoft came up with the two uh, environments. One is the uh, production environment and second one is the uh, dev test environment, which is non-prod. So there are a uh, few services not have not uh, required. For example, I don't require a backup for my testing VM similarly. Now let's explore to the uh, the Azure portal. It's under um, management and governance. Auto manage Azure uh, machines. So here it is. You can uh, see that here enable an existing machine. Click on that. Now it will ask which configuration profile you want. It's giving options like you know best practices for production environment or best practices for the dev test or the custom profile. Okay. Now if I click on view best practice, it will show what are all the features it was giving like, you know, these are all these things. Right? Similarly for dev, you will see the backup is not included here and few other couple of uh, services not available. Go back to production, what exactly? So it says, okay, it's for the monitoring backup. It says uh, uh, backup frequency every day. Security center, similarly malware, similarly update management. Change tracking and inventory, guest configuration. See, there is a limitation, guys. Um, see, few of them are not supported for the Azure Arc machines. So you need to keep in mind that, okay? So once you configure this, and you will click on select machines, and you will add those machines. Currently, I don't have any machines. So, so this, you can also uncheck ineligible machines like at the side you know any arc machines part of arc and all that you know it, it will automatically and you can just schedule it automatically you can onboard it like this so this is really a cool feature i i believe and also i see that they should have given an alert here that you know the server owner or the uh, the the team which you're onboarding should get an alert on uh, uh, as soon as you onboard here right that should that feature is missing here i believe now let's go back to the, the third one which is really interesting my favorite SQL registry service which is nothing but you know as we know the SQL Server 2008 and 2008 R2 is end of life Microsoft came up with a uh, feature called SQL Server registries which is in preview now and this is free and enabled by default and you can also have uh, you what you can do is you can just uh, add your SQL servers and databases which are uh, uh, running on 2008 and 2008 R2 as part of these SQL uh, server registries which I will show you uh, in, in the portal but there is a limitation guys that does not uh, include any new features that does not include any uh, functional improvements they will only be releasing uh, extended security updates right for these uh, uh, 2008 and 2008 R2 SQL right so but this is not very frequent this is very um, uh, I mean whenever necessary whenever needed uh, they, they will release security updates patches now let's quickly go back to the um, portal click on all services now click on databases go to the SQL server registries already created a test one so I'll just go ahead and create one more test one so here you have to give uh, the resource group and the registry name I am gonna say review tags review and create so I'm just creating a it's a free okay so if you can create I'm just creating a an empty SQL uh, server registry So it's got created now. Hardly it will take a, a minute for the deployment because there's nothing in, in it. Go to the resource. Now this is what we created now. You need to click on register and you need to specify your SQL uh, instance name. The version, as I said, it only supports 2008 and 2008 R2. And look at the, the edition it's supporting enterprise standard developer web data center work group whatever it is and you can select that edition and the number of cores 
right number of cores and all that select and uh, the host type is a VM physical server virtual machine EC2 GCP Google Cloud and all it's just not an hybrid it's also multi-cloud you can add which is really nice which is really nice guys and click on register then you know the server will be registered here then it will be um, included automatically moved to the uh, SQL Server extended support which is really a cool feature for me and uh, but make sure that you know if you have a and you can also because I know that enterprises or the mid market will have a uh, hundreds of SQL servers so uh, Microsoft came with a bulk register so you can have a registry um, a CSV uh, file I'll just click on that what is the format for the CSV it's just a straight uh, name and all that or Oh yeah, so this is yeah. So this is what it is. The CSV is the your server name, version, edition, course, host type, subscription ID, resource group ID, Azure VM OS. So this is what it is. It should be like this. Which is nice I think uh, I can download a sample yeah this is what it is you can uh, have this format you can upload it it's really nice I will uh, share these links in the in the uh, comment in the uh, description you can download the um, uh, you know the PPT and as well as the the, um, the sample the CSV files and all that related to it but this is really really nice uh, guys so so far uh, I'll just a uh, quick recap we just uh, uh, you know covered maintenance configuration for VMs uh, enable auto manage Azure best practices and a uh, SQL server registry service all right so guys uh, so wait for our next um, episode number two uh, and um, if you like our videos please like or uh, and share it with your friends and also uh, if you're looking for more Azure 30 episodes Please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more updates. Once again, wish you a happy new year. Stay safe, maintain social distancing and stay healthy. Thank you and have a nice day.